Okay, here's a quick video of the Tentec Titan HF linear amplifier, which needed repairs to multiple parts of the amplifier. Uh, the QSK keying system, the uh, bias board, the metering board, and the low voltage rail. Uh, also, the multimeter meter movement itself was damaged. I was able to uh, open it and uh, repair the uh, winding uh, connection and get the meter uh, back to normal operation. Uh, so that's been fixed also, uh, as well as the uh, weight LED being bad on the display as well. So there you have it. Quick, uh, explore around the sides of the amplifier. Yeah, the amplifier has been warmed up for approximately three minutes. Plate voltage is at 2.4 kilovolts. And we're on 20 meters here for the test. So we're going to use the ICOM IC735 to drive. Okay. Go to carrier mode here. Okay. 49 watts of drive power. Key the amplifier here. 1600 watts output. Okay, we'll check the uh, plate voltage drop. Drops to about 2.1 volts, which is fine. Grid current. Grid current is a little on the high side. We'll turn that down a little bit, load it a little more. There you go, right down to 30 milliamps. And we'll actually, uh, a little more power, 1650. And we'll check the uh, forward power on a built-in meter. Uh, I'm showing about 1700 on a built-in meter. Same thing, the PEP is pinned at 15 plus. And we'll check the reflected power meter. Okay, yeah, it moves up about 25 watts. I noticed the reflected meter is a little sensitive, but it uh, has been calibrated. But at that kind of power level, it seems to be uh, a little strange calibration curve. So once again, forward power on the multimeter. Uh, high voltage, grid current, uh, peak meter, plate current, about 1 amp, 30, main rolls, uh, 30 mils of grid current, uh, high voltage 2.1. So 2.1 kV, 1 amp, that's about 2100 and change input, uh, 1600 output. So if you can believe the meters, we're getting about 70% uh, efficiency, but these meters are only plus or minus 10% accurate, so I would say we're easily getting 60%, 65% efficiency, which is quite good, which is normal for a pair of 3CX800. So uh, there you go. We'll do one quick PEP test here. Single sideband. That will test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, kilo 2, Charlie Bravo. At about uh, 40, 45 to uh, 49 watts. <whistles> yeah, 50 watts peak of dry power. Put the amplifier on standby here, from our operate rather. Okay, hello one two three. We'll go back to the meter. Hello one two three four five. And I look at the peak meter. Hello one two three four five. Kilo two Charlie Bravo testing. Okay, almost seventeen hundred watts PEP. So there you have the Tentec four twenty five linear amplifier, uh, fully operational after the repair work. Uh, there you go. Tentec four twenty five Titan amplifier. K2CB out.